Hello, hello, hello. This is Uncle Tickles. You are listening to New Dad. Welcome back. Sorry for the the big pause between episodes here. Uh, we are really excited to present to you this uh, this one. It will be well worth the wait. Uh, behind the, why it took so long? When we recorded this, for some reason, it got broken into uh, hundreds, if not thousands, of little six-second clips which I then had to sort by uh, the time tag and put into separate folders and jigsaw puzzle together. I think it's pretty cohesive. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, make sure you are over at our uh, Facebook group where you can get updates on our upcoming episodes. We're going to be doing an, uh, an interview with my son, Shep. We're going to have uh, some returning guests come back. In uh, tonight's episode, we have two returning guests. Yeah, in our How to Be a Zaddy Guide Part 2, we welcome back Caitlin Bendix from our single parent episode and Sam Stahl, who you will remember from our original Zaddy episode. Uh, they really bring the heat, and it was a lot of fun to record this here in person. It was our first in-person episode of this season it presented some technological challenges uh which i'll just consider uh, to be learning experiences um you know we talk a lot about what uh, all the different dads out there to, can do uh, both from a fashion standpoint and uh and from a hairstyling standpoint to look a little bit better and uh and i think that everyone's going to walk away with a, a few different tips uh, that they can cling to this summer and finish it with a hot dad summer, um, or hot zad summer, as we should say here. Um, we talk about erasing some stigmas, you know, uh, Sam does with toupees and shapers and, and lifts for shoes. Uh, <laughs> as it so happens, I have a great story. I have some permission to tell this, uh, was recently at a wedding, uh, a destination wedding and a friend, uh, and I were discussing our outfits for, for the trip. The, the friend had mentioned that, um, you know, it was, it was tough uh, trying to figure out what to wear. And I, I, I had kind of surmised that I had the same issue. I had actually gone so far as to research those, uh, like men shapers, uh, for one of the outfits I was considering. Um, and, and you know, I found, I found my friend to be, uh, you know, very, uh, supportive in this idea, but uh, the friend had never, you know, indicated whether or not they had thought about this idea as well. Just that, you know, like there's no, there's no shame in doing so. Um, and the night had gone on now, fast forward to the actual wedding and, uh, we are there. Everyone's looking good. And, uh, it starts to progress to a point where, uh, shirts are literally being ripped off people on the dance floor. Um, you'll hear me shout out Sean Casey in this episode. Uh, you know, that was the individual who ripped the buttons in the shirt you will see. Uh, and, this individual, or my friend, had uh, undisclosed to anyone, brought a shapers and was wearing it on this evening. So you can uh, imagine his horror as he starts to see the shirts being ripped off everyone uh, and, and does the math and realizes he's next, really, uh, and has to, to escape pretty quickly. Uh, it's pretty awesome and pretty pertinent to this episode. So I want to thank uh, our, our friend of the program for allowing me to share that with you today. And, uh, and let's erase the stigma guys, rock your shapers, put your lifts in, get a toupee. Uh, it's time to, uh, really own those things and, and look at them like therapy. And, uh, and I think after listening to this episode, uh, maybe we, we, we take a little sting out of those stigmas. So, Prob cause, without further ado, take us away. is new Dad. it's a little different you can tell uh if you're watching that we're not doing our normal episode today 
we are doing something. We, we're actually in our real bedroom. This is my actual closet. Uh, this is an actual friend, Caitlin Bendix. And you, if you've watched or been watching, then you recognize her from our Single Moms episode. That's right. Welcome back, Caitlin. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. I love this closet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there you go. Hold it right up there. Sorry. Be strong with it. Okay. Don't, don't be shy. Uh, welcome to our closet. Welcome to New Dad. This is a return to the Zaddy episode, as I probably mentioned in the intro already. Um, and we have a real special gift for you, our listeners, today. We have not just one guest. We have two guests. Because just off camera, we have <laughs> our, really like the foundation of the Zaddy episode, our st- our hairstylist. When I say our, I mean Lita and mine, and soon to be soon the, to be me. I soon already to be the just met her tonight, and we already got stuff of lined Julian up. and Kate, Absolutely. Caitlin as well. Exactly. Yeah, and we're here in our closet because we're doing a return to the Zaddy episode. I know everyone's thrilled. Uh, you can tell I'm dressed to the nines for this episode. Hi. This is this is what I normally look like, people. This is what Uncle Tickles is sporting in his nine to five when I'm chasing down Rugrats. Uh, when the Rugrats are gone, and it's just me and Lita. Uh, before I had Rugrats, this is kind of what I look like. So you guys are getting all of the good stuff. I didn't, I didn't hold back. I really brought it all out. Um, but this is the thing. Like I, I would like to do better. You know, you said before we started recording, you you want to like talk about Lita. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, like she's she's a fashion forward person. Lita is a fashion icon. She is amazing. <laughs> Narcissist I mean, much. Narcissist I'm just so horny much. for this closet. I mean, just even these yeah. um, huggable hangers. Like, look at this color yeah. huggable hanger. Yeah, don't mind it's our little sound me out. system back I'm there. out of place right now, but, <laughs> but that is such a beautiful color. I really love that. That's great. Yeah. I love it. Anyway, so yeah, Truly. Lita's closet is really amazing, but your yeah. side My is side is me also out. super amazing. There are some really great pieces in here that yeah. I just want to say you got some heat in here, bro. You yeah. really got some heat. We're going to talk nice about it. In here. Yeah. Are we so, ready? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about how to dress down while dressing up. Well, it makes kinda. sense. Yeah, you have two kids, you know, two, two boys. And, it's not, and also my style's always been ca- Casual, comfortable. I'm know. not going to let him get too hot. I just want you to make sure you're staying close to the recipe because <laughs> I already said Lita's a fashion forward she person. She really is. She said icon. I'm not going to put those words in my mouth. So we're going to talk about what you like and what you don't okay. like in here. So let's just show us what you like. This is just giving me like an athleisure closet. So it's just a lot of t-shirts and like sweatshirts. But I just want to say that I love that. I- Tommy is just diehard like Chicago all day, every day. Like I feel like your kids probably have this matching piece. So this is like a must. Like this is everything. Yes. So I love that for you. And I want you to wear that all the time. Chicago Bulls. And Milo you- Music. Shout out to Milo Music. I met Milo Music in that. And there's a p- picture floating out there somewhere. Well, I'm sure Milo Music will show that picture if he knows that you have a Simeon yeah. jersey. Derek Rose. That's what? Right. Yeah. Take it back. Take it back. Yeah. So He's this is hot. Throwbacks. Although, you know I hate jerseys, so yeah. I just want to say I don't like jerseys. Any man over 30 in a jersey is <laughs> no. I'm just getting a call from Sigmund Freud. Uh, <laughs> Sigmund Freud's calling. He says uh, Bruce, Bruce Bendix wants to know, as a Bruce football Bendix coach, why you hate jerseys. LeBron James. Who's this? I, oh, I was like, the Greek I, freak. I am the original Greek yeah, freak. Yeah, no, he's so not that's... out here wearing that. Bruce Bendix would never be caught done. No, with but I bet you he's rocking that Moon it's Oilers such jersey. It's an uncomfortable fabric, isn't it, though? Is this comfortable at all? I'll be honest. I, don't, f- I hate jerseys. So we have some... I love uh, Cool J did it. I'm still he's on the phone with Bruce Bendix. Hold on. <laughs> Bruce Bendix is still on the phone. He's uh, he's vetoed your take on jerseys. And... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take it to a lifeline. We actually, Dad. Hey, well, we have, we have a studio <laughs> audience, so I'd like to use them. Lena, can you pan over? Uh, Ian, have you ever worn, like, the silky basketball jerseys? Like, the old school These ones? Would silky. Kid- a ba- okay, fair enough. Thank you. Woo! Tra- so maybe Zaddy. Zaddy, Zaddy. material. Zaddy. So, well, here's, I, like, Ian has a style that I, it's, it's effortless. <laughs> this is. That's a special kind of jersey. Low rider. Low rider. Well, Okay. Would you really wear that? Okay. Well, hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll take... Oh, you're that guy. <laughs> I, I do want to take a moment to say, if you're listening to the podcast, this is a good one to head over to YouTube and check out because mm-hmm. we do have video accompanying this. But yeah, the, I'll, I'll post pictures of me wearing this. I, I bought this at a music festival in Chicago with the North Coast. I mean, that's an awesome shirt. This is... 
sick. And what did you pair yeah. with that? Gosh, I, some a, weren't they yeah, leggings? I yes. think it was leggings. A lot of a lot of skin pushing very strongly through these holes. Did you have camel toe? Uh, there's a, there's a lot of camel G force. Yeah, it was. There was some grating going on. The Parmesan Reggiano was in effect. Um, I don't know. Some sort of shorts. I mean, it was hot that day. I, need I just a remember. Yeah. Well, there is a picture on Instagram. I'm going to post it. Uh, head to the. Tagged off too. I don't know. They don't serve anybody any good. There's zero purpose. But it lets people know that I was once a medium. <laughs> it's okay. like I was a medium once, and I could prove it because there's a tag here. <laughs> if so anyone was wondering. That's why they stay on. Mediana. So f- fuck those tags are staying. Okay. It's, it's evidence. So what jerseys else you got? need to get out of here. What in the hell? Do you actually wear this? Like, I don't know. You just need like cotton. This like, is a gift from my wife. I oh want you God. to. I want you to know. Lita. Is this is a recent Christmas gift? We need right? to turn him around, Lita. When you're getting gifts, there are. Ma- Where are you wearing this? Go underneath him. Go everywhere. Oh, just home. Okay. Literally okay. everywhere. Okay. Unfortunately, <laughs> literally <laughs> everywhere. You want women throwing themselves at him over this? Oh, I, mean, I like that Cheeto Zaddy. Ooh. In this neighborhood, I not only get compliments, but I get looked at like a hungry snack. So. Well, they know that you're not a gang member, at least. Well, yeah, they're all, <laughs> I look like someone that's like either hunting or like helping kids cross the street to get to school safely. Fair enough. Nobody's Fair enough. gonna hit you. No, no. Okay. So I'm done with that. Um, okay. And uh, you know, I really thought this was cute. I like this little mm. pattern. This is cute. You like this. That's so nice. what do you think about the buttons? Because they're all new. Sean Casey. Shout out to Sean Casey. Okay. The buttons are yeah. Yeah. That's the zaddy alert right there. Another ding, woman ding, ding, ripped ding, all ding. these buttons off okay. my shirt. With her teeth? Just saying. With her teeth? Uh, no, she just ripped them off in an aggressive manner. Oh. It was just... Yeah. Oh, yeah! I'd like to see a remake of that. Yeah, we, can do, we can do that, but no. Uh, yeah, this is a it's that's a new really edition. Nice. So that's really cute, and you know you could just yeah put it back in there. Okay, put that. We keep them root clean. What in the Civil War hell? Oh yeah, these are my mariachi pants. Oh okay, wrong. Yeah. I wore these era. I I wore these <laughs> to Arcade Fire on a lot of acid one time, and mm, uh, believable. Believable. You want me to take them off? Yeah, pull them out. Pull it out. I love the stains. They are hot. So what did you do in these pants? Uh, mostly dance and... Uh, what are we doing? This, this is probably going to be Balenciaga, honestly. Mm. I think we might be able to do that. Dolce? Yeah. You might... Yeah, they're, they're, yeah. We just need to like this. It's either gonna expose me as a a serial. Yeah. You don't think so? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 We might try this on later, folks. So st- uh, stick, stay tuned. I want to stick around. That. Well, we have this. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. We have this to pair. Oh, I gra- oh my god! I grabbed it by the crotch. Mm. <laughs> She's got that. So we're gonna pair the fur kini. This the is fur- not a hat, ladies and gentlemen. This is actually no, this a fur kini. Is- this is uh, actually one of the times that Caitlin and I hung out in mm-hmm. L.A. This he is, had to wear it. I was we, like, we told do not story. fucking answer that door unless no. that ass is out. So this is a look. With a tail. This is a look we're doing, too. I love that for you. Okay, we're doing that look. Okay, but I did have some blue shorts that I was going to do that for oh, you. Yeah, and I was like, shorts. that's what you're wearing. Because you're not giving me much to work with. Uh, yeah, I got these blues. Well, okay, so so you're saying we're not giving you much to work with. Just, what am I missing? What am I missing that would okay, be, like, essential? So, cotton. Cotton. Cashmere t-shirts with high-collared t-shirts that are like iron, like not just like a junkie t-shirt. You want to be like, <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm just, I'm yeah, talking yeah, like H&M yeah. or like, um, what was the other one I sent you? I think it was. Yeah, it was a Gap. It was a Gap. Yeah. I love the Gap. The Gap is the fucking shit. Not much for women, but for kids and boys, I swear. Their athletic is actually kind of cute for women. And it's like, it's not expensive. Um, they have sales and stuff, but like, that's what you need to shop. Is there anything in there like that just has to go besides? Well, those cold? pants. I those mean, if you ever wore those pants near me, I think I'd mace you. Wait, are you talking about my Balenciagas? <laughs> the oh, hair? Oh, my McDonald's pants. I have a really flattering photo of me from last uh, Thanksgiving. Okay, in so those save pants. that photo as your memory. Yeah. And if and you really can't let it burn them, burn, burn them with fire. That works. Or just make it into like a pillow that you hug every night. Well, and let let Lita do. <laughs> That works because the matching top actually has a lot of rat poison on it right now. <laughs> so that was 
most likely a throwaway item. Okay. Um, Thank you. So just really quickly, that's my closet. For people out there who are listening, who are dads or getting older, struggling with just getting old and trying to look good. Are you guys? Because I feel like guys are, like, getting better looking and, like, women were, like... Well, I think guy. Well, I I mean, despite uh, how science may play into our aging, I think that guys psychologically probably still struggle with that okay. aspect of like, uh, you know, you don't want to look like you're dressing as a twenty year old when you're in your forties. And thank you for uh, being vulnerable. You know, and as uh, I think a lot of our new dad listeners, or some hopefully some new ones out there, but I think a lot of them are probably in our age demographic, and it's like, you know, you're starting to ride that that line or straddle that line of like what's appropriate what's not what yeah. is so uh you know like do you have any suggestions i just say stick with athleisure nike shorts nike shirt you know whatever i know Sick you're not bod. a dad just you know t-shirt jeans yeah kind of thing you know confidence nice, right yeah. like I mean, being comfortable you in your own skin white tee yeah and wear some nice levi's and i mean it's not expensive but it's nice and you know learn how to iron i think it's so nice when people press their shirts and i just mm. think it's hot I don't and know if fun. I'm ever going to have the like. I'm going to teach you how to iron one day, and it's going to turn many, you well, the fuck on. I mean, like, I'm you're going to be like, "Holy shit! I can't believe I've not been doing this my whole life." So let jeans me are fun to iron. Do I have too many t-shirts? Because that's a concern. You of mine. do. I mean, I do. are you wearing all these? Who's washing these? Are you I wash. <laughs> well, I mean, I did wash. I did do a lot of laundry before okay. you guys. If you're, if you're doing your laundry, then by all means, keep I up. Am. You know. But I think, like, how would you suggest someone thinning something out? Would you just like? Try anything have that's like stained or anything damaged, like get out of here. Do you Gross. have like a law where you like you want to have a certain amount of each color? Um, you know what? No, because no. I just know what colors look work good for, on me work. and work for me, so I stick with that. Um, how can someone figure out what works for them if they're not? Look at your pictures. Yeah. So look at a picture of you that you think you look fine as Helen, and you're like, damn, that color looks good on me. Just that's what that it is, and then just the stick time. with it. That's what I do. Gotcha. I'm like, holy shit, I look bomb and red. There we go, red oh. shirt, boom. Stick with what you know. Gotcha. I know you're not going to give away your jerseys. I don't expect you to because I understand how guys are, but I'm just saying. You know, you might be able to pull off a jersey. Yeah. So we're going to take a break real quick. I'm going to come back. We're going to be in a couple looks that Caitlin picked out, and then we're going to have Sam. All right, guys. We are back for the big reveal. Sit in your seats. Make sure that you are not too horny for this because look at all this. This is a look that we've put together from my profession. Ooh, Lita, that Ooh. man of yours—he is I'm Zaddy. Bill. It. I don't know. Like, it's been a while. We were talking a little off screen about uh, clothes that we buy that remind us of a moment, mm-hmm. and we keep for that. That's right. And these are just like. I have some mushrooms in our garage, and I'm just kind of wanting to take them right now. I don't that know. That sounds like a great idea. It does. I'm just. I love that idea. Like I love where these clothes are bringing us. I'm just. That's great. I don't know. It's yeah. Like, these are great. I, uh, Lita, <laughs> what do you think of this look? You're saying you're getting Balenciaga, Justin Timberlake vibes <laughs> off camera, so don't. Whoa, well, that's what you were saying off camera. <laughs> So styled differently is what we're going for. Okay. Gotcha. So maybe well, not the Nike belt. Gotcha. Well, yeah, I we, you know, I don't have many belts. That's the other thing. So uh like what are a few items? You had sent me a link and I'll, I'll post a picture Go of to it. The gap. Of uh of that one short, the the shirt you had posted. And it's basically just like uh for those that are watching. Exactly. I love like, like denim this. shirt and chambray. But it's long. Right? Yeah. It's a long sleeve shirt. Mm-hmm. So what are a couple staple items that Guys can have and throw in accessories like belts. Like what's a? Cause of I course, black leather belt. Black you know, belt. Um, chambray or denim shirt. I love that, which is what he has right there. I just think that's so sexy on men. It looks great. It is zaddy business, and it's casual too. It's a denim shirt. You know, it's not like you're wearing a three piece suit going to the park with them kids. But um, yeah, so you know, and again, I will show you the picture. We will link the picture of the Gap model. With yes. the high collar t shirt. Yes. I don't know why. I just think that's so hot. It's just like a nice, I'm sorry, I'm going back to my ironing, mm. a nice ironed, like higher collar white tee because, you know, there's different yeah. necklines. There's, you know, like a, a crew neck or just like a V neck, but that's out. We're talking a high collar neckline for your white tee. Which, yeah, I'm not even, I don't even know what that means, folks. I'm, I'm going to show the picture I'm so gonna everybody Google, yeah. knows. Because you guys show, will love it once you see it. No, and she showed me the picture, but I would have to see like a bunch of t shirts, I feel like, in front mm-hmm. of me. To yeah. be able to tell the difference between a high collar. All right, we'll do um, that next. Time. Very good. Um, 
So we're going to take another break, and we're going to come back with our second look. We are back for this big reveal. You guys are going to want to see this. this. is the hottest thing ever. It looks like a mangina, but it is not. Here it is. Mm, I'm just here to do some accounting work in my collared hoodie. Or am I? <laughs> she, she, she. DJ Creamy Thighs with his little creamy tail. Can you just lift me? Okay, they can, you got the tail. Okay, good. I don't know if YouTube so allows isn't a this. Camel toe. I'm, What's I happening, was... YouTube? I don't know. Is this going to be blocked? We're, we're getting flagged. We're probably getting flagged, but this is also probably Uncle Tickle's most incredible episode yet. Uh, <laughs> so, so talk to me about why you picked out this look. Well, I mean, actually, I love it. This is actually this like. You can feel free. I have a lot of freedom for activities. Yeah, you can stretch. Yeah, I've got a it's lot of mobility. I feel. I have no, uh, nothing regulating my body from going high or low. Sometimes that's what I don't like about jeans, you know? It's like... They're restricting. Yeah, they are a little restricting, right? And, like, let's be honest, because we haven't really mentioned this, but it's a huge part of everyone's fashion, whether you're a parent or not, but we're coming from a pandemic. Like, work, people work from home more. That's right. Uh, we're more athleisure. We're more in our pajamas. And uh, that is the struggle I'm having. And I'm like, who wants to wear pants? When we're at home, like, we're not, I'm not wearing pants. No, this I'm is. I'm mad my kids are old enough now to, I, I feel to put like them on, this is the new business cash, what I'm wearing now. Like, this could be a Zoom meeting. Like, attire. There's you're probably right. more people looking like this in their Zoom meetings than there are not oh looking like this. Oh, my God. Like they, it has to be. Yeah. Yeah, we need to over. You're only getting pixie boos. No, we need well, to I mean, like, well, I don't know what you're actually implying. I think we need to, you need to lift up in the back a little bit. The tail. Needs to be well, smaller. I mean, there's like we there need isn't the angina. A, the problem is there isn't a back. <laughs> That's kind of the that is issue the that we have here, uh, which I'm concerned is it about. Comfortable? YouTube. I mean, yeah, like I said, it's just like it gives you all the flexibility. Is in the it entire actually world. raccoon hair? Uh, yes, it's 100% real fur. Don't let Peter know. Pe let, let, no, uh, I'm Don't not, let Peter know. I'm not afraid to admit I killed this raccoon with my own bare hands. So <laughs> that's my story to tell. <laughs> you guys can't take that from me. Another Zaddy episode, another episode for another day. Uh, Caitlin, I know you have to go, but before you do... Uh, you had mentioned a couple things, a couple staple items, uh, the chambray mm, denim, denim shirt. shirt. Get you a denim shirt. Anything cotton, high collar. That's, that's what's right. in high that's collar. Right. Uh, high collar. Stick with patterns that okay. match, right? Because mm -hmm. it yep. makes you look more well put. Yeah. Anything else? Well, I just black leather like belt. Top for you, like this really just like prepped you up a little bit, you mm. know. And sometimes I think dads, you know, they look unapproachable, which is where we want you. But a silly shirt, you know, Oops. no one's going to talk to the silly dad with a shirt at the park. But if you no. wear that, you know, and spray a little cologne, you're going to get some attention. Yeah. And me and Lita are going to have to pull up. And then, oh, and then <laughs> if, if we are, if you happen to be a dude who wears a junky t-shirt. Then you everyone's going to think you're a homeless man and mace you. How can you dress it up? Just really Okay, quick. so how can you dress it up? Yeah. Um, just go get a 40 with a plastic bag. <laughs> Boom. 40 plastic bag. Plastic bag, you got it. That's right. Complete the look. Caitlin, thank you so much. You're, you guys are so welcome. Yeah. Uh, I've invited myself over so many times, so it's yes. about time that I get to be here. Yeah. So we're, and this has been fun. This and is I have a new friend or two. Yeah. First in-person episode of New Dad season two. Uh, and she's about to rock it on this beat. Yeah, that's that right. Hair. We got our next guest. He said Sam. he wants this. Yeah, I want this. I want. I want to look okay. more like that. We're gonna hit it. Some layers. A little bit of. Mm. Bring it in a little bit here, mm -hmm. you know? Just Maybe a new color. Something fun, something short, something playful with a little bit of sass. That's what we're going to do. But uh, we're going to take a break. We're going to come right back. Thank you. You're Kate. the one. Welcome back. We are here. You can see I love this outfit that our stylist picked so much that I am just refusing to change out of it. This is going to be me for the rest of the, the, the episode. I'm in my furkini in my stylish athletic Top. I don't know that they can see exactly. But the they list did see. Yeah, yeah. What you're still wearing, which is good because we're gonna talk about hair. So at least now we have yeah. like three sections of hair to talk about. That's right. Yeah, we have a lot. We can go all over the. It's better. The, there's a large map to work with. I think in the female world we may call this, and I don't want to gender things, but 
A merkin. A merkin. Oh, it's like yeah. a jock it's a strap merkin with a tail. It's a pubic weave. Yeah. A pubic weave. Yeah. I'm, I'm familiar. I I'm would a, charge a hundred dollars an hour for that. I housewife. I housewife a little bit. Uh, but for the eagle eyed viewers, I say this a lot every now and then. Uh, you might recognize Sam from season one. She's our original Zaddy Foundation. We can't do a Zaddy episode without having. Our uh, stylist to the stars. And when I say stars, I'm mostly talking about Lita, not me. Uh, but yeah, you can see. I mean, I haven't seen Sam recently. This is the it's first time I've true. seen her in a long time. Yeah. Uh, it's a pandemic, y'all, still. I mean, it's an endemic. It's a pandemic. We're like, what do we, what do we, I don't even know. Chicago, we're kind of going through a little spike. But I had COVID. J- that's right. I mean, that was another thing. And, yeah. and guess what? COVID may cause hair loss. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. So just a heads up. Who knows? Take your vitamins. You can if you had COVID. If you have shitty hair, you can use that. If as you want to be a zaddy, use that as an excuse to be like, I had COVID, and that's why my shit looks weird. That's it's, true. You could do that. Out. Um, but we have Sam back. You know, and and really, like the reason I wanted to have Sam back is a what I just mentioned. She's the foundation of the zaddy episode here at New Dad. But B, um, I felt like going back and reviewing our episodes from season one. Um, that the the episode we did with her was really really good, but it was like capturing a lot of perfect situations in a bottle. Where uh, we're typically like, I don't have a fresh cut. I'm not looking uh, fresh to death. And 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 this is a good representation, as I said with with Caitlin, of what I typically look like. You know, a little shaggy, not so pleasant to the eyes. Like maybe yeah. like. Nausea inducing is like yeah, some shirt, like, a tail, like gross. Yeah, like uh, my son Solomon would say, "Ah, ah," is what he would say. Um, so when we get to this state, right? Like this is where I'm normally wearing our friend the hat. Exactly it comes in. You saw the hat prominent in our first segment. Which you look great in a hat, yeah. and people do. And really, it's like and natural. That's I'm an just, okay thing to rock, you know. And really, like I think. The most important thing is feeling comfortable in your skin, right? Like being confident, as we said in the first segment, you're not going to really be able to pull it off unless you feel it. And, you know, for me, a hat is my comfortable skin. But I want to get out of this comfortable skin. Let's let Uncle Tickles get out here and stretch his beautiful angel wings. I mean, listen, I think that that's that you should. And yeah. I think everybody should. I think that the hat... Needs to it's be just thrown. really stifling our freedom. Yes. You know, yes. and as a female, I understand that. Yeah. You understand it. So, so I'm sorry. I just had yeah. to take a moment. So, I think what you got to do is let, like, the humidity and the air and the summer take your texture and your hair to a different place and yes. let enjoy the length. Yes. Because if you get out of the shower and you have, like, even the littlest bit of wave to your hair, if you don't comb it, you take like an old shirt or something and kind of like squeeze it dry. Mm. Real, I got lots of old real shirts. texture and curl can come out in your hair. Okay. And one of the things that sucks about summer is that it's humid. And humid is water. It's moisture. So when moisture gets in your hair strand, it gets frizzy and it does these things that like we don't enjoy. Mm-hmm. So as much as you don't want to use product, give it the fuck up and use some mousse or some cream product. Or something in your hair to create a barrier. Well, that's one of my big questions, right? Because like normally when I come to you, right, I get a fresh cut. It's pretty short, and I can put a product like this in it. Yeah, that's a good product, but it's actually that's a better product for when it's long. For when it's long. Yeah, you, like when okay. it's short. I mean, no, this no. For Honestly, no plug. This Kevin Murphy oh. is amazing. It's gritty powder, like gritty paste. That creates, like, what feels like kind of dirty hair, but it gives it movement. But the thing is, is that you can use this all the time. You can use it wet. You could use it, like, slightly wet just to... Mm. But the longer your hair gets... So right out of the shower, almost. Maybe not right out. Like, um, like how many minutes water out? in your hair molecule... It's going to dilute. We're talking science, y'all. <gasps> well, yeah, here's our <laughs> science. Yeah, this is chemistry. Dr. Nye shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm an art scientist. Yeah, you girl. Get it. That's like, 
Subway so, people are like sandwich yeah. scientists. <laughs> Let me tell you what's happening right now. Grunge is happening. Mm-hmm. And like get fat and wear big shirts because it's your time. It's grunge yeah. time. And don't get a haircut and do your shit. Yeah. And like I'm even doing here to look grungy. So it's it's exciting. So but so that's exactly what this gritty business is. Beautiful. From Kevin Murphy. And there's things like that from Schwarzkopf. Who I work for. So what's the Schwarzkopf equi- equivalent to this? Uh, sand, clay sand clay or dust it, soft dust, texture craft. Honestly, this shit's so hot because shiny hair is great for maybe mm-hmm. someone like your amazing, beautiful wife, who I also do her hair. That's right. So there's differences, right? Yeah. Like we're looking for a little more like... We don't want it to be shiny. We don't want it to look dry. But we just want it to look kind of like that's what happened. Yeah. And that takes a lot of work. And that's the fucked up thing about here. Yeah. And I'm never going to reach that. I'm never going to No, you reach do that. reach no. it very I effortlessly, I, I think. Because right now you're wearing a jock strap of fur. <sighs> and right. nobody knows what your hair looks like. They can't see it. If they're in the room, they can't see your hair. They no. can only see your under hair. That's true. That's and true we story. are happy with I that hope, too. I hope no one saw my bow holder. And he's manicured it. I'm gonna, put, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put like an emoji over it if, if, if anyone did. He's gonna put a peach. It was washed. I just well, I took a shower. And least. if you can't get, you know what? If you can't get a haircut and you don't want to get a haircut, and you're trying to grow your hair out. Do your thing. So here's the thing. Let, 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 let me ask you this. So I, you know, because one of my questions was like, I wasn't sure if this was a good product for short or long hair. I have it. I use it. That's that's why. That's I'm how more co- I'm more confused on where you got this Kevin Murphy from. Twisted There's scissors. Yes. Plug. They're a great salon. Plug. They're a good Plug. salon. No, they're a great salon. I In love them. In my defense, I mean, I've been getting my hair cut by you for like. At least two years now. Yeah, four so, times. So four times in two years. <laughs> so shout out. It's hey, been a while. He's a bit. He's it's busy. It's been a while since I've been there. Is what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, no. This is where I think I got that. I think I got that from either that or my yeah. sister Jackie. So if I got this from well, you, Jackie, shout out to you. I'm only asking because this is great product, and I know you got it from a salon. Yeah. And if you're listening and you think you can buy your product on Amazon, don't do it. That's gross. It's expired, and it actually does mean something. So just hop into a small business that you live by and grab some good products. It's like $20, fucking dollars, dude. You definitely, definitely ordered that from McDonald's. And if you don't want to go to fuck. a salon, you had mentioned <laughs> something earlier that was like awesome that I thought was probably oh, like, yeah. where do you go. So now they do have Ulta in Target. So there's a couple of brands there like Way, who's Jen Atkins, worked for the um, Duh. Kardashians. W E I. Later we have Nobody a whole knows bunch that, of Zaddy stories about me being a Kardashian. No, but no, we don't. No, we don't. Um, but the the for the Patreons we yeah. do. <laughs> if you uh, subscribe on Patreon. You have to We'll give you that story that involves Kardashians and yeah. Rihanna. And I'll show you a boob. So here's my deal. So right. So like I'm just intimidated with this uh, with longer hair and all this product, right? And yeah. so we just gotta. Oh. All right. So the thing is, is like what really yeah. what I was talking about. It's about the moisture too. Like there's a, a lot bit. of humidity and moisture in the air, so you gotta get shit in your hair How much? before it dries. A lot more. Um. Okay. If you're using mousse. A lot more than you would think. If you're using this, just like keep, like I, I put some in before the show started. So like, and, and I uh, always can go you with hold like, this for me? yeah, yeah. And I and like my rule of thumb is like a dime's worth. So do I want to go with more than a dime's worth, or that that looks like a dime a weed or a dime a dime like an actual dime. Okay, so this is probably the amount. Beep. You know what? <laughs> there are teenagers maybe listening to this podcast. <laughs> I hope. If you're, I mean, if you're a if teenager, are, I hope you're like an <laughs> MTV Teen Mom and we can do a collab. Hit me up. Hashtag new dad. Okay, so here's something important. I'm sorry. Get the Mr. Miyagi heat arms. It up. Yeah, heat. heat it up. So I do do this. I do the heat it up. I remember this from okay. season one. And I, you can like put it yeah. everywhere. Well, that's not my hair. <laughs> Yeah, but you can't do your own hair because okay, you got to do your own. So I got to heat it up. Okay, yeah. so then you're so going to have to hold my shit. Hold on, how messy me... I did it. And now you guys can on, watch. Hold on, hold on. Just so you know, if you are listening online, this is on YouTube. And this is the best way to watch us. Too much? 
Is it maybe, yeah, yeah. Like go half of that. And this is Kevin Murphy, like Gritty that. Business. Just a dab. Yeah, that's good. And like really heat it up. And the thing is, is most people, is most people. Is there something in there that makes it warmer? No, it's called friction. And we're going to well, talk about I, well, science have, after I've the episode. I've rubbed my hands together before. No. Listen, I guys, know what friction We'll have a zaddy is. science episode Jesus later. <laughs> Don't fucking woman, woman spray oh, me. Oh, let me do it once. <laughs> woman. See how fucked up dudes are? I can't even woman explain once. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, there's this thing called friction. You might Look have heard at, of it. You look good. Oh, <laughs> Lita looks very no, 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 no. at the moment. Fix it. Yeah, see, yeah, this see? is good. Look, like, okay, tuck. Okay, so tuck. Up. So we got to do a tuck. Tuck and pull. It's, it's, this that. reminds me of when, again, a second time, no, I'll talk I mean, about my on, time in prison. Seriously, that's so cute. Your Better. natural wave is there. Yes. We're getting there. Because, so, okay, guys, here's the thing. When you have... A hair strand that even has like, let me make sure I look okay. Hold on, sorry. Get girl. When you have a hair strand that even has the littlest bit of wave, if you get out of the shower and comb it with a brush or a comb or even your fingers, you're making it 50% less curly or wavy every time you do that. So if you want to see, even if you have, we call it swavy, straight wavy hair. If you want to see any kind of movement, you've got to take a t-shirt or a microfiber towel and squeeze the water out of your hair towards your scalp. So if you're watching us on YouTube, like take it like this. If you're not, I want you to go like under your hand, under your hair, and, and this, squeeze it into your and scalp. This goes for like whatever your length of Every hair is. Every person ever. If you have short hair, I want you to just take it and still push it. If you're watching us again, like pushing right now, I'm just really using my fingertips and kind of my hand. So what you're you saying is my practice of motion. just like combing it straight back after you're a shower is bad. You're the wave that you like. See how cute it is right now? Like to be like. See, Lita, I'm cute. No, I mean you this is cute. It. And Listen the thing is, it. is Tommy. Listen to the okay, people, Lita. Guys, they think I'm cute. One hundred percent honest. Sometimes when we cut Tommy's hair, I don't like the sides. It's too short. Mm -hmm. It's not giving Tommy's best face. Because his hair is so light, and it looks really see-through. And <laughs> his face is so not nice. And I mean, he's just so handsome, and his fur penis is, is just so incredible. <laughs> <laughs> and his tail will drive you nuts. But natural, natural. This is honest, natural honestly, if we go back to raccoon. what Caitlin was talking about, where maybe she didn't vibe quite with some of your shit. This haircut vibes with you being in a Cheeto <laughs> jumpsuit. True. I'm if I clean you up, it's like, why is that guy in a Cheeto jumpsuit? Uh, what is but, he, an undercover cop? You know, like, this looks so good, man. <laughs> and every time you come in, we don't want to ever cut it off. What we end up doing is we don't know what else to do. Yeah. But I didn't know you had greedy business or any, that you were willing to, like, but you got to put more. You got to put more products in the hair than you think. Okay. So outside yes. of just in general, specific to my hair, what are some faux pas you see with like older men or just like not even old, I mean, older is, I guess, a, a total subjective thing. But when you're, we're talking about zaddies today, right. mistakes dads make. I think, mis right, okay, so the first mistake, dads, sads, non-having kid zaddies, everybody, male or female makes because there are actually females who have a male pattern balding. Yeah. So there's women who have sort of like that ring, that crown. Uh -huh. So I think something to own and just be completely accepting of is to pays again. If you get on TikTok or Instagram, you can see these amazing hair pieces uh -huh. that people are doing and you would have no idea that it was a toupee. I mean, they are glued on. Here by Phil is amazing. He's in New York. There's a lot, a lot of crazy, crazy toupee work. And that is the same as extensions. Yeah, well, I was going to say, it that makes sense. It is the so same as a BBL. Well, it is the same as um, 
contour wear. Yeah, true. What's it is the uh, booty, like like getting your butt, butt lifted injection. or getting your lips injected. It is the same yeah. as therapy, right, too. Yeah. Like getting your confidence to the point where your actual confidence should be, but because society has made you feel like being bald is shitty totally. or having like a little bit of chin fat is going to fucking ruin your life or whatever your insecurities are. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So we have a ton of ways to fix those things. And now something for men is this amazing, amazing toupee work. It's really crazy. I'm, uh, you yeah. would have no idea. I'll send some links to you and we'll share them. Yeah. We'll share them. Yeah, for sure. That'd be it's super cool. Fucking bonkers. Well, because I've always thought about the double standard with that. It is a taboo, which I think still makes it an expensive service. Yeah. Which hopefully, if we can normalize it. For sure. Also, it is a high skill and you do have to pay for those type of things. So I don't want anybody to think I'm not appreciative of that skill but i i think yeah, the no, more regular think, it can become i mean there's there's there i think that toupee generation kind of dropped off like in the 70s but there's a lot of older men that i think still wear them mm -hmm. but when i use the word toupee right now i'm talking about something nuts like you should see these they're that's crazy they fade them well, yeah. up into the hair i mean you would have no idea and guess what if you are a i'm gonna say if you're a piece of shit enough to have that deter you from being with someone that you already liked like if you found that out go be alone yeah go eat soup by yourself well yeah that's well, fucked up no you don't do that you don't do that yeah it is a little bit i get it you it, don't No, you can't judge somebody off their hairline homie well, I do think it's a total double standard because I think there's a total different way we look at a, a woman wearing extensions and a, and a man wearing Yeah, it's the worst. Thing. It's right. completely incredible. God, like, white we men like, are so oppressed. I, I kind of wish they would die, but I like some of them, so oh, I'll be okay about that's it. That's not very supreme. Listen. <laughs> I will walk. <laughs> I know he's kidding, but it still makes my belly no. button feel like it's going to throw up. No, it's gross. Uh, and the new dad doesn't support it. No, new dads don't support that. Those no. are old dads. Well, Sam, I want to thank you for coming out tonight. This was uh, a joy to have you, and we couldn't, like I said, have a zaddy episode without having the foundation. Well, the person I love who you guys. keeps us all looking somewhat respectable. Keeping the Zads looking Obviously. red. Number one Zaddy right now. Ooh, number one Zaddy. You go first. I got to think about who has kids. Does Jonathan Taylor Thomas have kids? I, mean, <laughs> I don't know, because if he does, I'm, I'd Zaddy him up. Yeah. I feel like there's an... Me too. Like, yeah, I feel like there's an answer I'm missing, but... Um, because I was on a flight with one of his daughters recently, I do want to like just shout out. I think who is an awesome dad is Barack Obama. And What's your number one not zaddy? Number one not zaddy. Um, the first name that comes to mind, and I'm sure there's like a lot of people who are worse, but real life. One, two, three. Donald Act Trump. Oh, see, I was going to say Alec Baldwin. At the same time? Uh, oh, that's the same person. Oh, they yeah. play each other. Yeah, we literally that, still that. said the same yeah. person. Okay. Yeah, no, like, yeah. I don't find it funny when Alec Baldwin plays Donald Trump <laughs> on <laughs> SNL because I'm like, um, hold on. Right. Excuse me. Dude, Are we assaulting like white women pig? and abusing them? Great. <laughs> yeah. Same character, uh, you fucking dumbasses. Uh, yeah. It's not funny. Fictionally, I think of a, a man named Craster who is from the A Song of Ice and a Fire or Game of Thrones world who forced you know all of his w his daughters into sex <laughs> and made them uh, birth child all children. Right. Well, like, then I would say Billy Graham. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a deep cut. Fictional Craster. people. <laughs> Craster. Craster's keep, y'all. Jesus. Yeah. But no, Sam, shout out. Forgot Lion King. Do you wanna, that's also a really, a really good shout out. Uh, do you want to give your TikTok, Instagram, anything? Yeah, here by Sam Stahl on everything. Here by Sam, S-T-A-H-L. That's right. So holler, watch me on Wednesdays. That's right. I'll tell you why to stop doing what you're doing to your hair. Uh, and uh, I've learned a lot from those Wednesday wise. So thank you.
Thank you, Sam. Thank you for all the Tickle Monsters. Proud cause. 